all right y'all welcome back to the video um i know some of y'all could be watching my channel sometimes maybe like dang she back already not oxy posted consistently yes oxy posted consistently a little bit but i was just sitting there thinking reading the comments of my back market review video and thinking that people might want an update and some things that i may have missed in my first video because i was thinking i was like oh yeah i forgot to say what the battery capability is i forgot to say like a few other things so we're gonna go through that in this video so yeah y'all All right, so the first thing, let's address what we didn't address in the first video. So, battery capability. When I first got my phone, the battery capability was at 100. And I was really shocked because I was watching other people's reviews and I was seeing that their battery capability was only about like 95, 80. And I'm not really even too sure now what the battery capability is, but I think it's just like, at first I thought it was like how much your phone can charge yeah but at first because the battery capability was like how much your phone can charge like for example let's say my battery capability was like 90% then I thought that if I put my phone on charger all night my phone could only charge to like 90% but then I found it from my friend that's not actually true I don't think so I guess the battery capability is just kind of like um like how healthy your phone is and how long the battery will last now my battery is not bad like i said my, my battery capability has went down to like 98 percent i think last time i checked um so it's gone down like two percent or whatever i said in the beginning it went down it went down y'all um yeah and honestly my battery lasts pretty much all day but i do be having my phone on battery save mode to be honest and honestly that works for me like i really don't mind the battery save mode it doesn't really affect me that much um, so if I wake up at like uh, 6 a.m. and have my phone on and off the charger till 6 a.m. and it's on battery save mode, it'll last me till like 10:30 till I get off work. Like it'll last. Like it may be on its last legs when I get home, but it will last. I don't be worried about my phone going dead. Like I used to have to worry about my old phone. So yeah, the battery capability is great. Um, like I said in my last review, I love my phone. I've gotten a case for my phone. It takes amazing pictures. I've made an edit on it. Like, I literally love my phone. And I'm so happy with the purchase and that I didn't even have to spend, like, that much money on it. Now, granted, and those of you that have an iPhone 11 know that everybody and their mama has an iPhone 11. Literally everybody and their mama, bruh. And I don't know, if you don't want to be like everybody else and have an iPhone 11, if you want to be different, maybe I would say get an XR or 12 or something like that. But yeah, girl, everybody and their mama has this phone. And I can see why. It's reasonably priced. Like, it's $500, I think, on the website. It's waterproof. It's the most waterproof iPhone, they say. It takes good pictures. It's a good size. And it's just a good phone. So I understand why. But yeah, everybody and got this phone. So I'm going to insert some pictures. Yeah, so I'm going to insert some pictures of um my phone. I mean, the quality of the pictures. Very, very, very good. I'll insert an edit that I made off my phone. But yeah, y'all, I'm really happy with the phone. Really happy with the pictures and everything. And this update, it's been about three months since I got my phone. I got the phone on Christmas, which, you no, know, I bought it myself. My people didn't buy it for me. I bought it myself. Um, so it's been like this, well, really, February, March. So it's been about two-ish months. It's been a long time for me, I feel like. But yeah, honestly, my phone has not declined. Like, the apps don't be crashing and closing. Like, it, it's way more space than what I was used to. On my old phone, I had half as much space than what I have on this phone. Like, bro, honestly, if you're thinking about buying your phone off back market, just do it. Like, because I thought I was going to get scammed. I thought, like, it was going to like not be giving but it was giving where i got a good phone looked like new and i got a charger and a box for the charger like girl buy your phone off back market honestly if you have the money um like honestly y'all and now since apple doesn't sell anything under the iphone 11 if you want like an iphone 8 or like an iphone 6 for whatever reason or iphone 7 or even iphone 10 like you literally have to go to somewhere where they're refurbished so why not go to back market and this is not sponsored I don't have a partnership with back market but i'm literally just so happy with my purchase and y'all even understand like i've been wanting an iphone since i was like a little kid 
like bro i've always just wanted to experience that like literally before i got this phone like all my friends or my friend who has an iphone i would literally always take her phone and the first thing i would do was just run and click on all the apps go to her camera take pictures like go on the slow motion feature make slow mos like y'all don't understand like when i was younger i used to be dumb and look up free credit card money and go on there and just try to f try to find a credit card that would work and like type it in to get me an iphone and for the longest time i wanted an iphone 7 plus but at this point i can't do that because like they don't even sell on the website anymore but yeah, like I said, if you're looking for like a reasonably like down price phone and you don't mind getting someone's old phone because we all know what refurbished is, pretty much it's people who are who have like traded in their old phones for new ones and based on the condition and the quality they resell the phones. So pretty much what happened is I got someone's old phone, I guess, or just a phone they didn't want anymore. And I'm happy with it. Like, it had no cracks, no scratches. It looked brand new. Like, someone bought a brand new, bought a brand new iPhone 11, was like, hey, you know, I don't want this anymore, and traded it away. And, yeah. And didn't want it anymore. But, yeah, y'all, like I said, it's been about a month, like, maybe two months and the phone works great like it's a very reliable phone um it gets the job done i can be on it all day it doesn't really heat up too much less on the charger i'm trying to play it as well but yeah y'all i'd highly 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 recommend the iphone 11 off the back market get them while you can get them oh yeah and the quality was excellent because i wanted the best quality phone i could get but yeah y'all Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and bye.